Now let's explore your options for files once you move them into OneDrive. As you remember, we actually drag and drop all of these files into this directory uh, called Documents. So if we go in here, you'll see that you have these uh, three little dots at the end of the file. In here are all your options that allow you to do things with that individual file. So I could share it by just clicking on Share. You can see it's going to bring a drop-down box. I can invite people um, into this. So if I wanted to share this, for instance, with Stacy, our marketing director, I could click on that. Now I have some options. I can let her edit it, or she can just view the document in, uh, in this directory. Uh, I can add a message to this and say, take a look at this presentation, and I can send an email invite, or I could not by just unclicking it. So very easy. Now, I could also go in here and just get a link for this file. So if I wanted to uh, get a link and have it just for people inside uh, Champion Solutions Group that has an account, I can do that. But I also have some restricted links, only specific people. I have a view link for people inside Champion, and I have an edit link for inside Champion. So very easy to do that with. And I can just click and say create, and it's going to create that link. I can copy it uh, and then send it to whoever I want. Now I can also share with, these are the people that today are sharing. If I wanted to stop, for instance, sharing this with Lisa or or with anyone, uh, I can go in here and just say stop sharing or I can change it to view only. That's simple to do the sharing. Um, I can get a link for this file. I can download this file. So let's say I was on another device where I didn't uh, didn't have this file locally. I could download it. I could delete it. I could move it to another folder, meaning that it would move, remove it out of this folder and move it somewhere else. I could copy it, which means it would stay here, but go to another uh, folder. I could rename it. Uh, and as you can see, I can rename it by just going in here. And let's say I want to get rid of the first part. I hit save. And now it will save that document underneath a different name. Very easy. Right down here, you can see it. Um, I could also look at the versions of this document, in other words, how many times I have changed this. So you can see that I went in here and brought it in. I renamed it, so that would be a change. So I modified it uh, for the second version. And then the last one is I can go in here and just get details. How big is this document? Who is it being shared with right here? Um, it's a PDF. You can see it's a 3.7 megabyte file and so on. Very nice and easy interface to find out more information about the files.